There is a gaping achievement gap between black and white school children in New Jersey. The 2015 National Assessment of Educational Progress data on fourth graders show that in reading, 42% of black students scored below grade level, but only 15% of white students. In math, 29% of blacks were below, but only 6% of whites. It's not just race, but class that seems to determine achievement. Studies show when schools engage parents, the kids do better. The New Jersey Black Alliance for Educational Options Deputy State Director is Chanel Duns, who's with us now. Thank you very much. Thank do you parents feel they have a voice? And if so, if not, why not? Well, that's part of the problem. Parents don't feel they have a voice. They don't feel like um, their voice matters. They don't know where to utilize their voice or how to utilize their voice. There was a time, and you and I remember mm -hmm. it, when schools reached out to parents to be involved. Right. What and happened? I, you know, I think... We kind of evolved to the schools have it. We, don't, we just need you as a parent to get your kid to school. We'll take care of the rest. And you lost that partnership between parents and teachers and administrators. And so later on down the line, parents are like, well, hey, I didn't know this, or I don't know how to do that. And they're trying to re-engage themselves, but don't know how. How does re-engagement affect the school community and the kids' learning ability? Well, it affects the community as a whole because we become a community again. We've mm -hmm. gotten so far um, away from being a community. And not just your parents taking care of the students, but your neighbors and relatives. And I think what we have to get back to is that, right? And we have to begin having the dialogue on a, on a basic grassroots level just with small groups of parents that are interested in re-engaging themselves. What can schools do to get black parents involved? Meet them where they are. That's the best thing. Meet them where they Which are. Which means what? P PTA meetings? What? Ba Bale does a lot of work in the community. Like the summer, the first year we were here, for the entire summer, we held block parties. We knocked on doors, just re reintroducing ourselves to community members. You can't expect parents to always meet you at the school. Sometimes you have to come from behind that desk and knock on those doors or go to a basketball game or a football game. I think that's where it begins. When parents see that the learning uh, institution, institution that their child is in is interested in more than just that building, then they invest more into that building. To what extent does class play a role here? <laughs> class, class plays a huge role. I was a young parent. Um, I had my first baby when I was 18 years old. Ah. 18 years old. She's 26 now. Yay me. Um, but it, there's a huge difference. Because I was 18, I was kind of blocked out. She's young. She doesn't know anything. But I was an invested parent. I wanted to participate in my child's educational experience because I didn't want her to be that 18-year-old parent. So we tend to think, oh, because she's young, she's poor, that she doesn't know or she doesn't want to. That's not the case. Chanel Duns, thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for allowing me to represent New Jersey Bayo.